Hello and welcome back to part two of my photo card storing. As mentioned in my last video, if you haven't checked that out, check it out. Um, I am back to collecting, but in a totally different style than I used to. And I did like a few proofs in my last video. And today I'm going to start off with 80s, um, Boy Next Door, BTS, and I think that's it. Quite a few cards. So let's get going. Let's just start in here and put this away. These are also really, really helpful to like store cards. Love it. Okay, let's start. Again, as mentioned, the binder covers, or the covers are all commissioned from an Instagram site I use. And for Hong Jung, I also switched up the way I collect him totally. I do no longer collect him fully. I collect four cards for comeback because they are absolutely going wild with the amount of numbers. I no longer collect pre-orders, I no longer collect um, non-album cards or anything else like that for him. Because like KQ Entertainment is absolutely wilding and I do not want to stress myself out with that. Um, so yeah, what I did is I kept all of the cards from their um, debut era until... Fever part one. This is the start of when I have decided I'm gonna switch it up. Um, I did keep the two, I think it's the green version. Yeah, the green version. I hated the yellow version. So I have decided to get rid of that. And instead I kept two of the pre-orders. And uh, that's the way I'm going to do it now. So one page for one comeback and nothing more. Um, this is Fever part two and I, um, like these three cards. I didn't have a fourth one I like though, so I kept one of the pre-orders I have. The other ones I'm all selling, so yeah. Now let's start off with Fever Part 3 and I am keeping two album cards, two pre-orders. Because like, look at him, he's so precious. I wanted these a lot more than the album cards to be honest, so this is the way I've decided to do it. Let's get rid of these. There we go. Um, I used to collect Mingi and Songhua, but honestly, the amount of cards they released for comeback is absolutely insane. And I don't see the point in getting any more members. Next thing we have is movement. I have again four cards. And this is the way they look from the back. And we're going to store them right here. There we go, this is movement. Then we have from the witness, which I again have four cards and it's these four. These are all album cards because I actually really liked his hair in this era. So I went for it. This is what the back looks like. I like this more than the other one. Okay, this is also completed. And then, oops, we have Outlaw, which I again have four cards for. It's these four. This is what the bags look like. Is this even Outlaw? I think I'm dumb and the next album is Outlaw. Oh yeah, I missed out a page. I'm so dumb. Oops. I can't count. Oh no. Why did I even spot empty? I don't think I did. No, I didn't. I just can't count. Okay. Um, yeah, these are all basically the same apart from this. Let's store them. So this isn't Outlaw, I accidentally 
left out a page and spin off the witness. So we'll have to grab a new page because I don't think I have enough. Do I? No, I don't. I don't have any other pages here. Okay, um, now we are actually coming to Outlaw, which I have four cards. I do have these four cards. I wanted two red and two blue hair ones, and I got them. This is what they look like, and I got no clue how we're gonna store this. Like this. Oh, the eyes don't like that. I like this one more. We're gonna store them like this. There we go, and I'll quick, uh, quickly grab like the other page I mentioned for the latest release, which I again have four photo cards, and I actually loved these photo cards. I actually couldn't decide what I wanted to have, but this is the ones I have right here. This is the World EP Finn Will. There we go. Let's put that right here. And we are starring them. They look basically the same, so they shouldn't be next to each other. And then these two, like this or like this? I'm gonna do them like this. So there we go. This is it for 80s. Um, I did keep his Japanese cards for now because I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get rid of these. So I kept them, but uh, I did sell one of these. Oh, I have it up for sale. I don't know if I still have it. Um, but I'm not going to add to this, so I did, did put this release in here. And then I used this as like a little divider for like other cards. Um, these are all of the group cards that came in the album. And then I kept four of my non-album Hong Jun cards, which I really liked. And then these are like the things I collected. I don't know if I'm gonna keep them in here though. They are like from the Japanese photo sets. And then we come to JK and BTS. And I'm actually quite happy to announce that the way I collect him, he is actually finished. I'm pretty sure at least. So we have actually quite a few BTS cards. Never thought I'd see the day, but here we are. And we are starting off with Golden, which I miss him so much. It's so sad, actually. I hope he comes back soon. So there's four cards for Golden. I do have all four of them. This is what they look like. And this is what the box look like. And I think I'll just store them from like lightest to darkest maybe. That would be this one, this one, this one and this one. How do we feel about that? I think that's okay. I'm gonna store them like this. go that's the only album cards he has <laughs> then i have all of my bts cards in here and we were finished till persona i think yeah uh, till persona when i started to uh when i dropped him but i'm super happy to announce i finally have these cards when i was collecting him um these cards were like around 20 euros each, which I'm happy to announce I didn't pay that for one. I paid that for like basically all four. I know this one was quite expensive actually, I do remember that. But um, the other ones, I got them recently, so I haven't had to worry about spending too much on it. I think I paid for these three like together, including shipping 20 euros. So. Yeah, I'm actually finished with Persona. I never thought I'd see the day. This one gave me a lot of trouble, to be honest. This one as well. 
These two are quite easy to get. I actually managed to trade for this one, I'm pretty sure. And then we have the last card. So for B, <coughs> for B, I have these two cards. Um, I again collect two cards per comeback now. I don't know if I'll ever collect four again. I'm unsure, to be honest. Um, and I did finish Butter, which I love these cards. They're so cute. I love that for myself. Um, do I like this more or this more? I think I like this more. There we go. And yeah, right, we do have proof. There is like one more proof card technically, but I don't have space to put it. So I'm gonna call it a day and be done with my BTS collection for now until I can come back from the military. And to fill up the space, I have these two like DVD cards I actually pulled out of my DVDs. Then I have B here, which is like the other members because I do own the album and you got a set. And then I have his bigger cards in the back here. As well as J-Hope. Cutie. Yeah, then we have Boy Next Door. I love that for myself. Wait. Um, I'm collecting Jaehyun. He's so cute. Um, I'm collecting four cards per comeback, so we have eight in total. This is my cover for him. He's an absolute precious, precious baby. And we are starting with who, which is these four cards. Like, look at him. He is so baby. It's actually kind of cute. This is what the backs look like. Um. I haven't decided yet how I want this. Do I want it this way? I actually think coming it this way makes more sense, huh? Because then like the yeah, the reds are together. Let's see how I feel about that in the front. Okay, yeah, that's actually fine with me. I don't like but he does the same like gesture, so we may actually Oh, I don't like that. I mean, he makes gestures and out. I'm just gonna keep it this way. Because I like the way the backs look. And let's put them in. They are like, um, along with ZB1, the latest group, I've decided this then and I don't regret it one single bit. They are actually so cute. They're also from Hype. And I love him with my whole heart. He's so precious. And we have Y. And they are dropping a comeback in April. But these are the four cards I have. This is what the bags look like. And we are definitely not putting these together. Because I don't want to keep them like this. Do we like this? Or do we like it the other way? I like it the other way more, so we're gonna store them this way. So this is my tiny but precious Jaehyun collection. We have empty sleeves here, love that for myself. But yeah, that's it for this final. And it's actually quite full, oh god. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. I may have to buy another one. Oh, I don't want to though. Look how fat this is though. <laughs> okay, and we'll go over onto my last binder. My last binder is just Mama Moo. And I'll be honest, I have quite a few cards for them. Um, starting from Reality in Black, I'm collecting all four members. Before that, I'm only collecting Mumpio because they are not like selfie cards and I have decided I am going to start collecting from Reality in Black because then they actually did um, 
selfie cards but this is my cover for my OT4 section which I did put first um, and we have reality in black and if I remember correctly black means I have it white means I don't have it so let's check this out is this the black version it is um, I have all three other members I always collected Moonbjol. I've collected her for like ages. Um, I never collected the other members though, so this is new, but they are my absolute old group. And I don't know why I thought I don't have Hwasa. I definitely have her as you can see. But okay. So this is my first page. My first completed OT4 page. Oh my god. Love that. Then we have the white version, which I have two. I am missing Hwasa for this one, that's factually correct. Um, but yeah, as mentioned, I've collected Moonbill for like ages and I am in love with them. I still love them so much. So, And since their cards aren't actually that hard to get, apart from I say Mamamoo, which is like a 10th or 11th release, I've decided to go for it. Um, yeah, and I'm pretty much almost done i'm missing like maybe four cards for each member so that's like nothing i'm missing this wasa then for these i actually finished this i have all lenticulars here we have solar Moonbjol i've had for ages Rien, and wasa so let's put him away Reality in Black is actually pretty easy to collect. Um, I have the most trouble with travel and with um, I say Mamamoo as mentioned. But yeah, this is Reality in Black. I'm only missing one card to complete this for my OT4 collection, not that for myself. Then we have Travel. I only have Moonbuilt card as of now. But we do have a few at least, which is nice. So we have these, oh man, these cards. Not a lot, but at least a bit. Okay, this is the red one. Let's see how many we have. This is a red. Okay, we only have one red version. And it is Wasa. I guess I had Solar coming. I don't know where she would be though, to be honest. So maybe I'm just tripping, I don't know. But currently I have these two cards right here. Then we have the, what is this? Green. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be green. Um, yeah, I think that's these two. I have Hwasa and Huyen. This is one of my favorite Huyen cards. She's so pretty. I love that for her. And I'm missing Solar, so that's a bit of a bummer. Um, I personally have the most trouble with getting Moonbuilt's um, last few cards I'm missing and Solar. So like these two are kind of easy. The other ones not so much, but yeah, we have three out of four cards for this version. And then we have this like, brownish one which is this one lonely card right here and i have also for this as well and then this should be like this black ish version which i do have solar and Huyen. and i am missing Hwasa. let's put them away There we go. So that's it for travel. I am missing as of now two, three, five, six cards. Then we have VAV. I think I am actually missing like a few cards, but I'm not sure. Yep. So this is what I have. 
I think I have a duplicate somewhere as well, sadly. So this is definitely the same as you can see. Let's see how we feel about this. Some of these I actually kind of hard to differentiate. Like these definitely belong together, but there's like another version that has like this bluish back, this one right here. And I have no clue where which one belongs. Let's see. So this is like the other version, but for these, I have no clue, I'll be honest. So since we put solar here, this one definitely needs to go there. Um, and now we have one Hasa and a Vian. Oh, these definitely belong to you. Wait. Oh god, this is bad. I would like to think these go to these go here and then this one goes like here because this one is outside but she's also outside right here and you know what i'm just gonna do this and if it's not the way this is supposed to be then that's a bit sad but it is the way it is so we have these two and these two And then we have the other ones, and yeah, as I thought, I did have a duplicate, so let's get this out of the way. But we can complete this, which is amazing. There we go. Next completed OT4 page. Love that for myself. Okay, guys, this kind of makes sense. I'm gonna go and just store them like this. Let's see. Okay, so I actually switched some. I switched the VNs. Okay, so this is VAV. Okay, next is I Say Mama Moo. And this is the album that I have the most trouble with. I only have like four cards. I think one for each. Oh no, not even one for each. There's four versions. I have two of the black one. I have one like beige and one pink. And yeah, I do have trouble with that. Okay, I think this one is supposed to go here, the black version, because I do have these two. And then let's check with these. Um, this is Vian, so I guess this goes here. Sometimes marking things off actually helps. Look at me. Okay, where does this pink one belong to then? Should we put this in the front? Let's actually put this in the front. There we go. So yeah, we have one for the pink version, one for the beige, two for the black, none for the other one. I don't even know which color it is. For mic on, I'm pretty sure I'm only missing two cards to complete everything. I do have mostly everything. And I also already arranged this in the order I want to have it. So we're starting off with the black bag with the pink colors. There we go. Look at them. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, then I have the version which is this one. I am missing Moonbio for this one. I haven't found her yet, but it's the pink bag. Do have the other three members though: Hossa, Rian, and Solar. 
and we have next day okay i'm actually done oh well and we have this version and i just noticed i have a duplicate in the end that's sad but this is the black bag with the signatures There you go, look at them go. And then we have this, this is my least favorite set, so I've decided to just store them at the back. This is the pink with them writing on it. But this one is really cute actually, this maybe all back. But there you go, so from my mic on, I'm actually only missing one card if I count it correctly. Isn't that exciting? Let's store those. I'm gonna check this real quick in a minute if I was actually correct. I'm pretty sure I'm actually correct. There we go. Let's see. I'm actually correct. Look at me. I'm only missing one name your card to complete the mic on. I'm not collecting the like other version, the I think it's the day three pack. I'm only collecting this version. And this is my divider for my mobile section. I used to collect her. Um, as I mentioned, I am collecting her for the early releases only. So that is that. And I did use to collect her solos. I don't do that anymore though. I literally just have the ones I've collected up until now. And yeah, that is actually it. I collected everything, or not collected, but I stored everything I wanted to store. I'm in love with my covers. I love my binders and I hope I am content with the way I am collected now. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.